Here's the latest on xstocks.com. During the World Economic Forum in Switzerland, over 80 pharmaceutical companies pledged to devote more resources to the development of new antibiotics. What will the alliance mean for the future of antibiotic development? Hello, I'm Sarah Massey, life science blogger and webinar moderator for xtalks.com, and welcome to this edition of xtalks Vitals. The coalition, which includes major players like GlaxoSmithKline, Pfizer, and Merck, also called on multiple governments to provide better incentives for antibiotic R&D. According to those participating in the forum, the price of newly developed antibiotic treatments is often disproportionate to the amount of research capital that's put into developing them. The declaration, signed by nine industry associations and 85 companies spread across 18 different countries, calls for government funding to create a sustainable and predictable market for these technologies. Antibiotic resistance among bacterial infections is more prevalent today than it's ever been, with some completely antibiotic resistant strains being identified over the past few years. In an effort to address the issue, the pharmaceutical companies are urging governments to provide funding for market structures that would reduce the link between financial revenue for new antibiotics and the amount they get used. As some antibiotics are used only in emergency situations, they aren't prescribed in the same manner as other classes of drugs. Should governments be willing to do their part, the pharmaceutical companies have pledged to allocate more resources towards R&D for antibiotics and establish better partnerships between the industry and the public. In agreement with leaders in the field, the coalition also encourages the use of antibiotics on only the patients that need them. Subscribe to the Xox YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button below and visit xox.com for more information on this story and other news stories in the life science industry.